What is special about Switzerland, guys? I mean, what's what's its speciality? I'll give you a minute to think about it. If any of you guys are new to this Europe trip series, well, I have been going around some parts of the old continent, road tripping, train traveling, sailing, reaching summits, jumping from plains and mountains, and even paying huge fines, or worse, nearly having my drone seized. Yeah, it was a hell of an adventure. So if you guys are interested in getting the ins and outs of my trip, be sure to go back and check out my previous videos and subscribe for my upcoming ones. And to those already a subscriber, thank you a lot for your time. So, any ideas yet? Well, if you don't get it, let me give you a hint. I guess it's not a hint, it's the answer itself. Guys, today we are visiting Chocolate Factory. Maison Cahier, as it is called, is located in Brock, which is approximately an hour drive from Chavone. Caille Chocolate is a symbol of La Gruyère district. Produced with milk from the area, it has been produced in the famous Caille factory since 1898. The walls of this most famous chocolate factory are without doubt steeped in history as this is the site of the very first industrial chocolate production in the world. So naturally we couldn't wait any longer for the visit to start. The chocolate experience began with a fun and interactive historical itinerary where we learned a lot about the history of the Kaye family and the other great names in Swiss chocolate such as Nestle. Furthermore, the very reasons why chocolate was even first produced and in what circumstances and in what forms all the way to how chocolate became a Swiss national dish all of that and much more was intricately explained. Now, this isn't your typical guided tour, nor your boring museum visit whereby you just stroll around, but instead a very elaborate, creative and well thought guided tour. The tour is actually undertaken via individual audio guides which all the participants receive and this help in delivering well synced interactive multi-sensorial experiences as you guys can witness here the second part of the tour took us into the manufacturing process we could touch and see the raw materials and we found out more about the suppliers and producers of the ingredients used Also observe the manufacturing areas discovered how exquisite cocoa beans and high quality ingredients are used to make the finest chocolate creations. 
the visit also includes a brief explanation of chocolate tasting experience. So to really taste chocolate, we need to tune in all of our five senses. The first step is to look at the appearance of the chocolate. We pay attention to the color, the intensity, and the hue. The next step is to listen carefully. When it breaks, listen to the snap or the sound it makes. Step three is to discover the bouquet of aromatic notes and the complexity and also the intensity of it. Step four is to touch. And by doing so, we need to pay attention to how it feels in our hands. Is it soft? Is it hard? Is it slow or fast to melt in your hands? What is its resistance? Does it bend or break when you apply pressure? And then finally, we can put it in our mouth and taste it. So if someone applies all these steps when tasting chocolate, they will simply bring the chocolate tasting experience to a whole new level. The visit to the Maison Cahier ended with indulging our palate with an amazing variety of flavors during a chocolate tasting. We tasted the specialties for which this chocolate factor is famous and oh boy were they delicious! So this is it for this episode guys. After the Chocolate Factory, we made our way to the scenic and picturesque town of Interlaken. We will be exploring this most beautiful town. And we will try paragliding, one of Interlaken's best offerings. So make sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so you guys don't miss the next episodes. Thank you for watching guys, see you in the next one.